This is the only thing keeping you from getting what you want. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Success Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. And we are always flying in the direction of your dreams and goals. High flyers want to remind you to claim your 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy life coaching. Find out what a mentoring program can mean for your life. We've helped people in 60 different countries. We can help you too. Visit us at law of attraction solutions.com. So high flyers, some people believe that manifesting or being a conscious creator is simply a matter of pulling the right levers or pressing the right buttons at the right time, saying the right words, jumping up and down on one foot, that kind of thing will get you what you want. Other people believe that the harder they wish, the more they think about it, the more they want it, the more they need it. That is the key to conscious creating and manifesting. Both of them are wrong. Both of them couldn't be further from the truth. Actually, high flyers, it's the opposite. People that fail to manifest what they desire, what they really want. These are people that they don't think of themselves as creators. They don't think of themselves as manifestors. They don't believe that they have any special power to bring about what they desire in their life. They feel like victims. On the other hand, successful manifesting is not something that you do. It's something that you are. It's a state of being, a state of mind a state of reality that automatically begins to attract what you desire. We are all manifesting. Some of us are getting what we want because we are conscious creators. Others of us are not getting what we want because we don't realize, we don't believe that we have conscious creating powers. You see, high flyers, people that don't believe that they are co-creators of whatever it is in their reality, in their world, they use words like I'm trying. I got that the other day. Somebody called me and says, well, Robert, I'm trying to manifest the following. They're always in a state of trying, but never in a state of doing. They're always in a state of wishing because they need to wish for something because they don't believe that they are co-creators of their reality. They don't believe that the entire power of the universe flows through them. They're always hoping and wishing and wanting instead of creating. Many people say to me, Robert, I'm trying to manifest. I'm trying to manifest. I just can't manifest. Look, you're always manifesting. You are a co-creator, whether you believe it or not. So what you are putting out is what you are receiving back. So if you say I'm not manifesting, that's exactly what you're manifesting. High flyers. You are either assuming, assuming that you are getting what you want, that what you want already exists. It's already present. It's already yours. Or you're assuming that you'll never get what you want. The choice is yours. The life you are living right now, right this moment, the life you are living right this moment is showing up as your assumptions. These are assumptions that you have had and they are manifested in your life right now. Successful conscious creators are claiming their rightful role as co-creators of their reality. Many of you remember the story I told you about 
a gentleman who came into my office and I gave him a simple affirmation. Good things are coming my way. And I wrote it down on a business card and he carried that business card with him day and night. He read that affirmation. He had nothing else in his life, but that piece of paper that I gave him, he had no home. He slept out on the streets. He had no job. He was under arrest. I mean, things looked bad for him, but he assumed, he assumed law of assumption that good things were coming his way. He assumed it because that's what he chose to believe. And little by little by little, he went from being homeless and destitute to having a great job, a great girlfriend, a new truck, a new home, and a new life. The law of assumption. You see, everything and anything that you could want all ready exists. You simply need to assume that it's yours. When you assume in your mind, in your heart, in your energy field strong enough, and you can see it in your mind, you can feel it in your soul. It's, it's at a point where it's so tangible. It's so real that you can smell it. You can taste it. You can feel it. When you assume it to that level, you will see it in your life. High flyers. This is the law of assumption. Assume it to see it. If you choose to assume that nothing will happen or nothing is happening, nothing's happening. If you choose to assume that, then that's the reality you've created. That's the choice that you've made because it already exists. You can choose. I have it or I don't have it or I'll never have it or I have more of it than I ever expected. I like to assume the following on a daily basis. I am rich. I am in a beautiful, deep, loving relationship with my wife and my family. I am healthy and strong and vibrant and energized. You may want to assume something else. I own a beautiful new six bedroom house. I own a beautiful new pickup truck. You see, you can assume it all and you can affirm it all and you can choose it because it's already there. You're simply making the choice through the law of assumption. And that's the secret to successful manifesting. Remember what you conceive and believe about yourself and your life and your reality is what you will achieve. It's that simple. Assume it to see it. Here's some other videos to help you on your journey.